What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP competitive guide video. Today we are going to be talking about Scizor and how to use this most effectively in singles OU. This is a new series I've been doing where I just talk about Pokemon that I've been testing. As you can see, I've got a ton of freaking teams made, ready to go, ready to show off to you guys. But in testing these teams, I've done a lot of testing on different Pokemon. So I wanted to show off certain movesets that I found success with, stuff that I think is really fun to use on certain Pokemon, because there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in this game. I already did a Torterra video, go check that one out if that's something that interests you. But today, like I said, we are going to be focusing on Scizor, because it is such an insane Pokemon in the format right now. Because if you look at its stats over here on Picolytics for BDSP OU, it's used the most in the format. This is the most used Pokemon just over Gliscor. It's kind of crazy how popular this Pokemon is, but it is for good reason because it is so defensive and the only typing that it's weak to is fire type. You're only going to be taking big damage from fire. Everything else you just kind of take to the face and then you just get away scot-free. It's a fantastic Pokemon and I 100% understand why it is so good in the format. I use it on a ton of my teams just because it's just a staple. It just works on every team. So I've got a handful of different Scizor here that I've used, I've tried, I've, you know, dabbled with. And this is all stuff that I think has worked, I've had success with. But I want to preface this video, there is nothing here that is set in stone. There are other sets that you can run, there are other EV spreads that you can use. This is just the stuff that I have used and had a lot of success with. And the point of these videos is to give you guys ideas in order to help you out when you go to build your own teams. So let's talk about the first scissor here and the big thing with scissor is technician like technician at the end of the day is one of the many reasons this pokemon is so good one it's typing because you're going to only be taking damage from fire like i previously stated that is super big but technician this pokemon's move of 60 power or less have one point times power it's really really good for this particular pokemon because of its particular move pool you're going to be able to do a lot of damage with this pokemon so the first one here is more of a bulky defender kind of scissor. Like you're still going to be doing damage, but this is more to keep yourself safe and more of a switch in Pokemon, you know, clear terrain, all that fun stuff. So you're rocking U-turn, bullet punch, roost into fog to get rid of those rocks, those spikes, whatever it may be. Roost to get yourself back up if things get a little hairy. And then leftovers, you're going to be getting a lot of health back there. It's just super nice to keep this Pokemon in the game. Now the EV spread is 248 4 92 in defense and then 164 in special defense with a careful nature the reason i roll with special defense is because the defense is just naturally higher i give it an extra special defense but it just depends on the pokemon you're going to be going up against with this particular pokemon these spreads can change if you want more defense because infernape is so popular it's understandable to want to change it to avoid some extra fire damage from infernape if possible but I noticed there are just a ton of very dominant special attackers in the format, so I like that extra special defense to kind of even it out with my defense, so I can take hits from both sides of the ball game, and it's proven to be very successful for me. I really like this particular setup, and it just takes damage. Like, that's the thing with this Pokemon, is you can rotate it in for everything. Something's going to take damage, rotate it. Boom. Scizor comes in, you think they're going to swap again, you turn, swap back into whatever you want. It's just a fantastic Pokemon. The big thing with Scizor is its speed is very low. Speed is just naturally very low, and you're not going to be out speeding a ton of different Pokemon. There are some different speed stuff that you could do to it. For example, with this particular Scizor. This Scizor, you're going to be able to kind of wiggle room here with the choice band. Still technician because it's just so good. Bullet punch, U-turn, wing attack, and fury cutter. Wing attack is very good because it gets that stab. Plus, it's under 60, so you're going to be getting that bonus from technician. Big damage off wing attack with this particular Pokemon. The spread that I have on it is 252, 448, and 204. However, you can kind of just mitigate the defense and take off a little bit of special defense and throw it onto speed if you really wanted to try and outspeed and get some extra stuff in with choice band but with bullet punch and you know just your overall tankiness i didn't really feel a need to put points into the speed category i just think this pokemon can take hits left and right so it doesn't really need to have that extra speed boost so this is my particular set with a choice band. I think the choice band is really nice on it because people aren't always expecting it. And bullet punch choice band with technician is big damage. That's why we have the adamant nature. Get that bonus on the attack. You're going to be doing a lot with this particular setup. Now we have our bulky attacker. 
where it's a similar EV spread to the previous 252, 448 defense, and 204 special defense. However, you throw Roost and Leftovers on it instead of the Choice Ban, and this is going to give you a lot more survivability and more rotation potential because you're not locked into one move. You're going to be able to Roost, U turn, do whatever you need to do in that particular turn in order to secure yourself a longer lasting Scizor. And the damage is still very high with a 326 attack. You're going to be able to do some work with this particular Pokemon. So it's still very powerful. Obviously, you're not going to be hitting as hard as Band, but you're going to be able to knock out some Pokemon with this guy here and take some hits. The last set that I find pretty fun with Scizor uh, is Life Orb. Life Orb just works. Again, same spread as the last two. Again, you can swap these out however you feel best. Move them wherever you want. Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Wing Attack, and Roost again because you're going to be able to recover yourself from the Life Orb damage, which is very nice. You're going to be able to just Roost. Depending on the Pokemon they throw out, you're going to be able to get rid of that extra damage. and It's going to be a very versatile Pokemon. Little extra boost with the Life Orb, and the Roost is going to be able to, like I said, counteract that effect. It's super nice in that way, kind of like a Leech Seed, Life Orb, Torterra. You're going to be able to reverse the effects of the item that is damaging your Pokemon, and it's going to give you that extra damage, which is super nice because, again, this Pokemon is just very powerful naturally. Like, I only have four EVs, and I have an Attack Nature on there, and we have a 326. That's a very powerful Pokemon right there in its own right. So, super fun Pokemon to use. You're going to see it a ton in the format, so make sure you got a fire type and got fire counters in order to knock this bad boy out. Otherwise, you will be struggling because this guy is unbelievably common. But that is going to be it for this particular video. If you want to see Scizor use in action, I will already have a video up by the time this video goes up of Scizor being used in my Torterra team. So check that out. I will put a link in the description below for that particular video. But if you found it entertaining and helpful, make sure you leave a like and smash the subscribe button for more Pokemon competitive guides like this in the future. And like I said, that's it. And I hope to see y'all in the next video.